are you going? What will you do? Hey, it's Megan. Brings the world to you. Hello, friends. We are at um, Hollywood Studios today. I feel like I've not been to a Disney park in a hot minute. So I figured it's about time for me to get back. So I'm going to try to get on some rides today and maybe meet a couple characters just to see where the day takes me as per usual for my typical Disney visit. So let's see where the day takes us. So right through here is where you could do a meet and greet with Chewbacca. So I thought I would go and see how it is. So I did decide to stop to get some popcorn because 100 years. I thought it was pretty cool. So, here. And in case you don't know, with the souvenir popcorn buckets, you could bring them back later and get them refilled for, I think, $2.50. Um, to buy the popcorn bucket with popcorn, like this particular one, was $13. But you get the refills for $2.50. So it's a good, decent deal because normally just like a little thing of popcorn is, I think, $5. And this is where the character meet and greets are for Chewbacca. How's it going, Chewy? Good. Do you want me to help you with your device? Awesome. Is it recording? Yeah, it's already recording. Perfect. So, are you just have to hold it? Yep. So for a little disclosure, Chewie's really fun to meet. Also, I haven't seen the movies in like forever. I've not seen the last three movies that were put out, so there you go. It was a bit of nostalgia though, because I did see the movie uh, when I was young. So that's always fun. And then in when you're in the launching pad, are these types of things, which is kind of cool. I feel like I need to like watch the movies again. So that being said, like I have a what do you call it? I'm running Rise of Resistance in 30 minutes. I'm return time, so I'm excited to see that ride because I've heard a lot of people talk about it and how it's a great ride, even if you don't necessarily know all the movies and storylines and all that. So. I figured today would be the day to do that. Um, that being said, I think I should watch all the movies just so I could maybe appreciate Batu a little bit more. Like the last time I was here, I think I mentioned that I just don't, and not a Star Wars person. And I wrote Smuggler's Run. It was fun, but I just didn't have any idea what was going on. So I think I would appreciate it more if I actually watched the movies and the shows and everything. So one of the things that um, Hollywood Studios has is like a museum type thing about Walt Disney. And this is actually his desk from the second grade. If you look, you can see his initials carved in Walt Disney. So I 
I always get a cold brew whenever I'm in the park for some reason. Oh, well, probably because I want the caffeine. Um, and I don't want hot coffee because it's hot. So I'm about to walk through the toy story lane now on my way over to Bad Hill. Or Galaxy's Edge, I guess it's technically called, right? Buzz Lightyear is out doing meet and greets. I know every once in a while he talks, but this is Toy Story Land. Roundup Rodeo just opened up one day. I'll make a reservation to get in there for lunch. Also, one day I'll ride the Slinky Dog roller coaster. Woody and Jesse doing meet greets. How oh, fun. So the whole theme of Toy Story Land is that you're a toy in Andy's backyard. So that's why, like, games are huge. Right? And as soon as you exit, it's almost immediate that you start going into Galaxy's Edge. So I will say, somebody who's not a big Star Wars fan, when I first came through Galaxy's Edge, and the last time I was here, it was the first time I've been through the section of the park since it's been open, and it was, like, I was impressed by it, so, you know, even if you don't know the movies, it's still pretty impressive just to walk through. Spies. We believe they're disguised as travelers with a young, code-breaking prodigy. So again, it's my first time writing this, so it'll be interesting to experience Rise of the Resistance.
I totally get why people love that ride. Like, I enjoyed it immensely. Like, it's totally, like, you get immersed into the ride. And you believe you're there. So, yeah, definitely worth the ride. Would I wait? I can see why it's always long wait time. I probably wouldn't wait in line because I'm not a big Star Wars fan. Yeah. But since I had a, like, like lightning light, essentially, it wasn't that bad. But I wouldn't stand in standby. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. I do have a callback for Tower of Terror in about an hour and a half. So, I need to just kind of like bop around and see what's going on. Like, I need to go into some shops. Yeah, tool around for the next couple, next hour and a half. It's Max and Goofy. Let's meet them. So, they're shutting down Goofy and uh, Max's line as soon as I walked up. So, maybe next time. I'll manage to get a picture of it. I've spotted my Chris first Christmas products. It's crazy that Christmas is already out. I don't think I've ever seen a Pinocchio lounge fly before. That's kind of cool. I've noticed a lot of Moana products. Obviously, probably because of what they're building at Epcot. <laughs> We're on the track. And Fred wrote the pencil on the yellow line. To your very own episode, the, the Twilight Zone. When stormy night long, that door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. Just what kind of vacancy you're filling. 
or you may find yourself a permanent resident. Well, that was just as fun as I remember it. Yeah. I remember it being like, I was prepared for it to be like super scary. So I remember the first few times I read in it, it scared me. But yeah, this time not so much. All right, friends, that's going to be all for today. So until next time, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.